Hey friends, I'm taking you on a Selma discovery moment. Um, I have um, had some challenges in the last month or so and um, just am coming from a doctor's appointment. And um, so if I cough during the video, that's why. But um, in my travels, one of the things I've um, I discovered a new and lovely church, and I'm not at that church right now, but I'm going to continue to show you some immense beauty. Um, I read about this amazing yoga retreat that actually starts tomorrow, but I can't go because of work, um, at this monastery. And so I was just fascinated in reading about this monastery that's right in um, Santa Barbara. So today when I was going to my doctor's appointment at the end, I said to myself, oh, wow. let me see how far this monastery is. Because um, I'm doing a lot of research about, you'll see, do you wanna know what I'm doing research about for Selma? It's very exciting because there's some really, there's some scenes happening in book two. Um, okay, I'm gonna, oh, well, now I just gave it away. It's a labyrinth. And I just really, really wanted to share this. I gotta show you this tree, too. Look at this eucalyptus tree. Wow. I wanted to share this moment with you because it's so magical to discover this beautiful labyrinth. There's a, oh, St. Francis of Assisi. It says, nature is in loveliness appears to gladden mind. Oops, I did that wrong. No, I did it right. <laughs> uh, to gladden every mind, ye may dispel our sighs and tears true joys in her we found find oh is that true or what wow so um i'm gonna go ahead and walk this beautiful labyrinth <coughs> and um see what comes through for book two i keep feeling like you can't see my eyes there so i'm gonna let this be my moment when I walk through it and not not share that but I wanted to share the coming up upon it and uh, I invite you to explore labyrinths they're all over the world um, and see what you can learn about them all right bye okay I walked the labyrinth once on my own so I thought I'd take you along um, with me this is the entrance and this is the, that's the center. So the thing with labyrinths, this may be oh, based on the Chart, Chartres um, Monastery, Monastery and Church. It's C-H-A-R-T-R-E-S, I believe, which if I'm channeling my proper French, I'm sure I could pronounce it. But right now, I'm focusing on filming and not falling. So while this may be making me dizzy, I thought I'd share with you a little bit about how um, this labyrinth came to be. Not this one, but just the idea of a labyrinth. Um, there's a portal. There are portals. Oh my gosh, wait, what did I do? Did I work on this already? This is a different way. Oh! I didn't go this way before. I'm not sure how I got here. Well, perfect object lesson. I left and said, I don't need to walk the other part because uh, I already walked the other side and that felt good. But then it's funny, someone has a sign over on this bench that says Buen Camino, pointing to the, the, good, the good path. Um, and so what I think is really interesting 
is there's there's portals in book two, so that's not too much of a spoiler. Um, and there's a lot of magic in labyrinths. And what I'm finding is um, certain things are coming into my into my field, so to speak, about that are supposed to be in the book. And I learned about Grace Cathedral in San Francisco. And I'm supposed to go there. Um, oh my god. I think I must have walked that but didn't realize it. Because I was in... No, I didn't. The what? I don't know how I did this, but... I'm there. Wow. And I guess that's a great metaphor for... You know, you never know how, how sometimes you get places. But here I am in the center. And over there <laughs> was the entrance. And I'll take some footage probably from up top, but thanks for being with me on this journey. Book two is so exciting. Um, I may be adjusting some of the deadlines for myself, but I'm gonna let myself kind of see how I bounce back um, from these changes I've gone through and just feeling really positive about the story and um, grateful to all my readers. Halloween is coming, so um, if you um, haven't read Selma yet, I'm thinking about doing a live reading um, of a couple chapters and through the book as we near Halloween. So let me know if you think that'd be a groovy idea. Thanks for walking the labyrinth with me. Bye. Well, it's getting to be sunset soon, and I just participated in that chapel up there, um, which the door says Bethlehem, in their Vesper service, which I had heard of Vespers, but honestly, I didn't really know what that entailed. And it was beautiful. There were only, there were three monks and a sister and five women, and uh, who were here for a yoga retreat that I learned about, um, as I think I might have mentioned earlier. And I am in the spot in the middle of um, what these are the Stations of the Cross. And this in the background is one of the most breathtaking trees I've ever seen. So I just wanted to give you this slice of magic um, that I discovered today. And just spirituality and love and nature and reminding you that when you least expect it, you know, look for surprises, look for clues, look for things that signal to you that the world is bigger than our worries and the world needs your heart. And I know the world needs the amazing adventures of Selma Calderon book too. So I'm headed back to the car, gonna get something to eat and, uh, at home. Sending you all big, big love.